ワンピース行くぞエドワード・ウィーヴォー goes to Wano also versus Marco the Phoenix and the Minkman by legendary anime Hi everyone Flying Panda Even though the reverie is starting soon, finally the straw hats are about to go to Wano. It's been a long wait, but we promise it'll be worth it. We know that the main villain of the Wano arc will be Yonko Kaido himself, but this is going to be the best arc since the war of Marineford. So, is it really going to be just one villain? By one villain, we mean the main villain, Kaido being the captain, the shogun is another candidate for a major villain, or Even the legend who is connected to Whitebeard, who we said it was Drummond, check out that video. But will there be another? The next main villain to take part in the War of Wano would be none other than Edward Weevil. It has been revealed, or we believe to be revealed, that Edward Weevil has left the Shishibukai thanks to the newspapers, but for what reason? Let's take a look. At what we know about Weevil. He is a self proclaimed biological son of Edward Newgate. For the last two years, he has been hunting down the former allies of the Whitebeard Pirates and plans to hunt down the main crew, or as he likes to address them, the Four Sons. Together with his mother, Miss Buckin, they have been searching for the first Commander Marco to find out where Whitebeard's great fortune lies. The funny thing is, we know that Whitebeard's real treasure was his crew. His beloved sons, so Miss Buckin is just on a wild goose chase, as they say. Said in earlier topics that Weevil and Miss Buckin are ever so similar to Margin Boo and the wizard Babidi from DBZ. It's almost comical how much they seem alike, but we know Oda has his reasons for this and has taken the inspiration for a purpose. As we know, in Dragon Ball Z, Babidi released Boo from his prison with the intention to use Boo to take over the universe, but Boo Had his own ideas and killed Babidi. Now, we're not saying this is going to be the case with Weevil and Miss Bucky. Their relationship is somewhat different to the latter, being mother and son, so Weevil probably wouldn't kill his own mother. But then, what if Weevil wasn't the son of Miss Bucky? It's almost safe to say Weevil isn't the real son of Whitebeard, but then maybe he is. They'll have to be discussed in another theory. Now, as we know, Zoro and the rest of the Straw Hats crew. Have stayed behind on Zoe, set out with the samurai and the minks for the Wano, but not before they located the remaining Whitebeard crew, Marco and the Whitebeard crew. The plan is to have the Whitebeard crew join forces with the pirate minks, samurai alliances, and invade Wano. Despite Marco and the rest of the crew losing a battle to the Whitebeard pirates, it's safe to assume that they will aid in the coming war as their last promise to Ace and Whitebeard was to protect Luffy with their life. Miss Buckin had no luck in finding out where Marco has been the whole time, and it set her sights on Luffy after learning of his victory over the Flamingo and Dress Rosa. She knew about the involvement in the Battle of Marineford, not surprising seeing as it was big news. But now is where things get interesting. Though Miss Buckin has set her sights on Luffy to gain information from him, she may have already found out what she needs to know and has set a plan in motion. Somehow she has caught wind of the alliance between the Straw Hat Pirates and the Minks, which that they have sought out Marco to aid them in the war. Now, she knows Weaver is strong, but even he must have his own limits, and to take on the main crew of Whitebeard Pirates as well as the joint alliances would undoubtedly be too much even for him. So she has made an alliance of her own. She has had Weaver drop his Shashibukai title and made him join. With Kaido. After it will be a war, and she can't let Kaido's crew deal with the rest, where she has Weevil target Marco. She has so much to gain from this alliance, she seeks fortune and wealth, and what better way to gain a large fortune than by collecting the bounties of all those infamous pirates who will fight and possibly fall in the war? On one hand, she collects the bounty of Luffy, Marco, and all those with high bounties. Or even Kaido himself, as well as his crew, should they fall. In her mind, it's a win win situation, and she gets rich from this war. However, things go the way she foresees it, and is in for a surprise of her own. 
but she would lose, but not how she would ever have imagined. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Please leave your comments down below. Please hit like, and if you haven't, please subscribe to Flying Panda, and don't forget to join my Discord.